welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the weird lighting situation. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. 6.30 at night. Anyway, so today I'm going to be doing my like hair care routine. Um, I already did my makeup today and I was kind of just like, what am I going to film? And so, hair care. Um, and I wanted my hair to be like in its natural way, I guess. The hair flip was um so this is my hair natural. I literally washed it, condition, you know, whatever. And then this is it. It's naturally stick straight and really thin. So and it's getting pretty long. I chopped it off in January. It was almost down to my butt and I chopped up to like here, so any hoosers. So first of all, starting with like shampoos, like what I do in the shower. Um, I don't have it with me, but I use that Pantene one with the mint oil. It's like a deep cleaning one. I don't really know. Um, I don't have it with me. It's at my parents' house. So I use that one. And then I also use a L'Oreal sulfate-free moisture. Um, just to kind of get that extra clean feeling. So I'll use my sheer volume Pantene shampoo after that because my hair is so thin. And then I only wash my hair two or three times a week. Um, I would say um a lot. Because I only wash my hair two or three times a week, every time I shampoo, I use a deep conditioner. I never really use just like the conditioner that goes with the shampoo. I like to use like an actual deep conditioner. So this is a Pantene CC Cream Conditioning Intense Hydration and it's just a white cream. I don't know if you can see but I use like half of it. I really like this. The scent is kind of weird but I like it. The thing that sucks is it's super slippery. Like if you get it in the shower, ooh, hold on. So after I get out of my shower, I hate wet hair like this. It's driving me nuts. Um, I always put my hair up in a turby. And I think this is like an actual... The original Starfire. I don't know. This used to be my sister's. It's huge. I used to have really long hair so it used to fit really well. It has a button and then like a string goes around it. Really nice. Um, and then, once it's kind of like damp, I will comb it out and I use this, it has hair all over it. This type of cone, cone, comb, um, I think this is like con air or something, I don't know. And then I'll go in with a leave-in conditioner, which I really like, trust me for that. This is my Split Remedy finisher spray. And this is the one, if you watched my favorites video, where I talk about it just like squirting out like one, you know? So. I'm gonna use this, put it in my hand, and then put it in my hair. And then I use the Renewal Hair and Scalp um, Misty one. Uh, yes. I use either or. I've been using this one a lot though. And then I have the label fell off mine. But this is that Organics, I think, brand. If you know this bottle, then you know what I'm talking about. And this is the Biotin one. I have the Carrington, 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 you yeah, know, the K1 um, spray at my house, like my parents' house. But this is the Biotin one, and both of those um, make my hair really thick. So I actually think because of this product, my hair has gotten a lot thicker. Because when I chopped my hair off, it was super thin and gross. So I have this product to thank for that. And then I'll brush it out again, put it back in this turpy, do my makeup. I don't know if you can see, but like right here's gross because like what's on my head. Anywho. And then sometimes if I have tangles, I'll go in with my Tangle Tamer from L'Oreal. Because I'm five. Um, usually, because I don't really like doing my hair anymore, it's not really like my favorite thing to do. Uh, I will just put my hair up. Like, I'll let it dry and then it automatically goes to a ponytail or a bun. Whatever. But, 
I do feel like doing my hair. Most of the time it's like second day hair. So I go in with my Batiste dry shampoo. And this is a hint of color dark and deep brown. Now, if you have a Marshalls near you, check your Marshalls because I get mine from Marshalls for six dollars instead of nine. This one I got from Ulta because like Marshalls a hit and miss. So this one for like nine dollars at Ulta. Sometimes they'll have a coupon for like the three fifty off, but favorite shampoo. And I don't know if I actually like like this dry shampoo or if it's just because it's for dark hair. I really want to try one of the ones where you like you shake it in. I don't know what brand does that. Besides like that bumble and bumble one that's like $22. Ridiculous. And then for heat protectant, of course, I use my Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. Favorite mist. It's awesome. My favorite hairspray. I have tried so many other hairsprays because I feel like a little kid using this, but they all leave my hair crunchy. It's always falls out. Hate it. So this is my Aussie Mega Hairspray and Flexible Hold. It smells like grapes, by the way. Yes. It's a big can. I think I got two cans were like wrapped up at Target for like five dollars. I need to get more actually. And then the only heat tool I really use on my hair is a curling iron. And this is my hot tools one inch um without a clamp curler it's just one inch i think yeah these like i love hot tools i want to get into like the new me bellamy thing but they're too expensive hot tools is probably like 50 or 60 dollars but they're so awesome so that is it for my hair care routine it's not that difficult. My only big tip is to only wash your hair. Well, train your hair. Don't only have to wash it two or three times a week. That's hard. It sucks getting it to that point, but your hair will love it. My hair has grown. Like you can't even see it. It's grown about this much since January and it's September. So, yep. Um, if you have any other questions about my hair or um, reviews about the products I've used or any tips for my products or like other products, please let me know and I'll have all my links down below and all the products I've used down below. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!